Hello again. And welcome to French Hawes Bear Review. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze is here. Of course. <laughs> We've got another uh, Rhode Island beer. Uh, Revival Brewing Company out of Cranston tonight. Yes. Not uh, not Wound Socket. Yes. Yes. This is, uh, they have a brew pub, Brewtopia, that they kind of work out of. And they do barbecue as well, right? Yeah. yeah pretty good food. Never uh, never had their food. Yeah. Only their beer. It's decent. Yeah. Um, this is uh, in collaboration with the local radio station here, 94HJY. They play some, some good rock and roll tunes. This is their afternoon DJs, Doug and Scarpetti. And uh, I'll pour this one for us. Yeah, it's uh, 15 IBUs. It's 15 IBUs, 4.7 alcohol. Huh. Vanilla Porter. I don't know if we even said that. No, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the catchphrase for the bear, I guess, is brewed to raise hell. Yes. Um. Not that confident in that 4.7%, but <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, throw that out. Oh, fuck. Still recording? Yep. Just, uh, just put it back in there. I'll either edit it out or we'll just keep it rolling. Uh, flip it. There you go. Check me out. All right, still going? And I'm back. I'm Jeff. I'm Scott. <laughs> Again, just we had a little technical difficulty there. The uh, the guy that holds our camera got lazy. Yeah. So, so here we are, Vanilla yep. Porter, donated by Steve Manning. Yes. Always donating stuff. We appreciate it. Steve, Very much. Steve and I have a good neighbor beer share thing going on. He's right across the street, and we like to swap beers a lot. They just throw them to each other. Yep. It's funny. Yep. So let's give this one a smell. Well, looking at it, it's got a... Uh, it's this. Uh, see, I don't know that there's much of a difference between a porter and a stout. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And I've, I, I've, I've read, read that there's no difference. Yeah. I've also read... I find stouts are always creamier, maybe. Okay. Than like this other stout we did from uh, Ravenous. Mm -hmm. That was nice, thick, creamy. This is a little clearer. It looks, it looks a little lighter. Yeah, it looks dark brown. The other one was like black, dark yeah. chocolate. This is uh, it's they know, smell had hardly any head on it. And this it, smells it's good. Pretty much gone. This does smell really good. Yeah, it does smell good. Yeah, that's wow. It certainly, God. it tastes like it's got a lot more alcohol than four point seven percent. Agreed. It tastes like a nine ten percent to me. Yeah, maybe not that high, but yeah, I know what you're saying. I, I can. Yeah, but it's lighter in body. The body is much lighter. It's a little watery. Yeah, I think. That's what I mean, like, versus a, what I think of when I think stout, you think of that. Fullness. Like, yeah. Full body, like mouth creamy. Feel. Yeah, this is a little watery to me. Um, I'm not even getting a ton of vanilla, to be honest with you. Not that I know anything about this, but it's almost like a, a bland coffee. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, watered down a little bit too much. Couldn't find a ton of ratings on these. Um, you know, these local... Local ones, there's up to fine. We're not in a big state. There, you kind of have to go high there volumes. To yeah, Untapped had it a three point three nine out of five. Beer Advocate didn't have; they had one rating, so we're not even gonna um, to get into that. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Uh, I'm disappointed, to be honest. Uh, out, of, out of five, where you at? Uh, that's ascendance these days. Out of five, I'm. Question, actually. I'm gonna say two and a half. Yeah. Maybe, maybe two and a quarter. I'm, I'm closer I'm, to two and a quarter. I think I'm I'm leaning towards that too. Yeah. I, I would not buy this again. I can't recommend it. No. Nope. Uh, Agreed. I feel bad saying that because um, I know 
some people that work there. If, if you like a lighter beer and you want something dark to like just say I drink a dark beer, that it would be perfect. It tastes heavy to me though in alcohol. Alcohol for sure. Yeah. But mouthfeel, everything, all like texture, everything like that is just yeah, there's nothing. I know there. it's not an old can. It, I know it's it's fairly new, so yeah, it smells you, good. You might like it though. You know, if you if you're into porters, we're mm-hmm. not big on porters. Pour it in a glass and um, smell it. It's fantastic. Yeah, the, <laughs> I mean, just smell it. <laughs> just smell it like a candle. But uh, unfortunately, this one ain't doing it for us. Not for me. Um, I would not buy it again. I personally cannot recommend it. Uh, Same with me. Too bad. But yep. we're just trying to be honest here about reviews. We're not gonna. We're not pulling punches. Pump we're anyone's gonna... tires, right. even if we know them or whatever. It is what it is. It's how we taste it, and that's what we're gonna yeah. say. So. You might like it. You might taste it and love it. So, yep. But other than that, that's all I got on this one. Yeah. Keep uh, keep commenting, sharing, liking everything, subscribing, subscribes, new ones. You can find us everywhere: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Unsubscribing and then resub. It doesn't do us any good. Yeah. <laughs> good effort. But <laughs> find us also on thecraftbeerdiaries.com. We're both right in there now. Yeah. Might send my first website. one. In. You can so. uh, subscribe to them and get email emails of uh, reviews. We're contributing there now, so um, check it out. Um, I don't mind the artwork. It's a cool can. Yeah, it is a cool can. HJY plays some pretty good music too. Yes, good rock and roll, old school, older school rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. almost classic rock at this point because we are getting older. Agreed. But um, that's, that's what it. happens. That's it for this one. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. French Hoth Bay Reviews. We missed the cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have-